hello welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here if i'm on a grocery haul i had to do a pretty big full restock um because i stopped buying groceries not stopped buying them but i like held off because scott's mom was in town so i wanted to not have a bunch of stuff in our fridge to go off so i figured i'd share with you what i got i went to whole foods and i went to trader joe's i also haven't done a trader joe's like exclusive haul in a hot minute um, I've been hopping around a lot to grocery stores, but I figured I'd share with you what I got and what kind of meals I'm planning to make this week. Um, so yeah, if you like seeing these type of videos, give it a thumbs up. And I also got some new stuff that I'll do a little taste testy with throughout. But first thing, I got a giant watermelon. It's not that giant. I got a watermelon um, for eating, obviously, from, whole, or from Trader Joe's. You're sitting on a big pack of Topo Chico mineral waters. I'm so happy they now have them in Schaumburg, or I can find them anyways, but they unfortunately will not sell me cases of the lime in bulk, and they don't carry grapefruit. So I got the originals, uh, because if you buy a single bottle, it's like $1.99, and it's like, that's insane. Um, so the 12 pack is $13.99, so it's not as bad. You get a little bit of a deal. Not a ton, but a little bit. So let's go through Whole Foods first. So my thing with Whole Foods, and I don't shop there for my whole grocery haul because I'm not looking to spend like $500 every time and literally that's what it costs because this small bag cost me $100. But I did buy vitamins and stuff. So um, I wanted to make it a point to every day when I get out of the gym on Monday, I look and see what Whole Foods has on sale for fish because we do really like fish and we've just not love the quality of the fish around here recently and so whole foods we do so halibut was on sale this week halibut is still stupid expensive but it was on sale because it's in season so i picked that up that's why i went there but i also got a coffee because we like to do the cold brews so this is the counterculture coffee um they didn't have some town so then i also got these i have never tried these before but i've heard they're like they're similar to the siete version um, I don't know. I figured I'd try it. I don't know how yet. But maybe some tacos. I haven't decided. This is the halibut. Um, I got to try of a pound and it was 25 bucks. So it's normally like 30 bucks a pound and it was $24 a pound. So it's, it's something. It's not a lot, but it's something. Um, I have been using gummy vitamins now for like, say consistently... I've gone through three bottles and I think they last three months a piece or maybe two months a piece. I'm not sure, but I've been going through them and I'm finally at the routine where I like take them every day consistently. I never forget. So I figured I would hop myself up to a regular vitamin. Um, this has just better, more um, benefits to it plus higher percentages than my gummy vitamins. So I decided just to grab the multivitamin adult, the small one to start and then we'll work our way up to the bit baby steps i decided to try this um chicken thighs boneless skinless chicken thighs in like these little things because i thought that would be convenient i have never tried primal kitchen anything but i've heard really good things about it like their ingredients are just really clean this is the hawaiian style barbecue sauce if you have a favorite primal let me know this just i've no I think i've ever tried this one this is the poppy root beer flavor and then i got four of the lime topo chicos Again, it's just stupid expensive, like two bucks for a freaking sparkling water, but they're so much better than LaCroix, I'm obsessed. So I got the Reginald and we're gonna, we're gonna play around with it. So that is that. Let's move on to Trader Joe's. I got a lot of stuff on Trader Joe's, so I feel like. Um, three years of corn. I've been in my grilling, I guess it's a smoker era lately. I pretty much cook our dinner on there at least twice a week. So I love corn on there. Um, corn is in season. It's also blueberry season. So I got a giant pack of blueberries. This was like seven bucks from Trader Joe's. I love this in my um, yogurt bowls in the morning. Arlo loves blueberries and they're just, they're good. Oh, let's get into some frozen stuff. I loved this last time I got this. This is the, I need to put it in the freezer immediately. Barbecue teriyaki chicken. It's literally such clean ingredients. Um, it's just the meat and then you add the sauce to it, but the sauce is, I can say all the ingredients. It's really good. So this over rice with some broccoli or peppers is an awesome meal. If you're like in a pinch or something, it's easy. 
Um, I'm back on to wanting my like deli plates for lunch. Now that it's like nicer out, I don't necessarily want a hot meal. I want something like light and fresh. So I love the turkey, the Columbus turkey breast. It's, it really is good. Um, I haven't had this in a while. Argentinian shrimp, the red Argentinian shrimp tastes a lot like lobster. So it's really good. Let's see what else I have for the freezer. For um, some brioche French toast, I thought Arlo might like this for breakfast. Some shelled edamame, because I've been liking eating that for lunch with other things. Brown rice, these are just, they're quick, they're easy. I love them. We split a bag between the three of us um, for dinners. I've never tried their green goddess dressing, but the ingredients look really clean, so I thought this would be yum. And I've also never tried their chimichurri sauce, which I want to make my own, but I'm kind of lazy. So I decided to try that first and maybe it'll inspire me. I say I'm lazy for that, but I also made my own homemade bread yesterday, which I've never tried, which is a little dense. It didn't rise because my yeast was uh, a little expired. I didn't realize. Hold my hook. I did like this recipe that I found though. And if it works, if I like it enough, I'll show you again. Um, arugula, organic arugula. Broccolini, I figured I could throw this on the smoker and it would be really good. Some cucumbers, some munch on. I love zucchini on the grill. It's one of my favorite vegetables. Same thing with peppers on the grill, but also eating them plain. Yas. Um, another one. I decided to try this for myself. I also don't know if Scott's ever tried it. I'm just curious to see what he thinks about it. It's the um, cold brew concentrate. I uh, got one sweet potato. I like this to swap out for rice one day during the week. I've been trying to keep meals just super simple. Protein, veggie, carb, that's it. Um, nothing crazy and busting my butt over it. Some apples, honey crisp. It's not apple season, but the other day I was really craving an apple. A grapefruit so I can make my own grapefruit topo chico. And then I love having shallots. So I grabbed shallots. Two more bags, you guys, two more bags. I swear I got a lot. Um, the other day when we were at, where were we at? Egg Harbor, I got iced tea and I was like, I forgot how much I love this. So this is black tea with lemon. So I was like, hmm, oh, is there? It's sweetened. Oh well, whatever. I figured I'd brew that. Um, I thought portobello mushrooms would be really great on the grill as well. I'm not a huge mushroom. I'm a big mushroom person, but portobello's can be a little bit like intense. But I figured on a smoker it'd be good. Some lemons, again, just have but also put in my pico, summer squash, or yellow squash, whatever you call it, great on the grill. Some heart of palms, I love this as a quick, easy snapple. Got a bunch of seasonings. Um, I've never tried the salmon rub. It's kind of like a sweet, it's got brown sugar, smoked paprika in it. So we'll try that out. The ranch is my favorite. Mix it with some Greek yogurt and you have a ranch sauce and it's so good to dip it in. Onion um, salt is a staple. If you do not get it, you need it. Um, hot honey, this is like so good. I know you can make your own, but it's nice to just have it in a pinch. Sunflower seeds, my obsession. Arlo also loves them. This is completely new to me. I saw a review on it and people didn't love it, but I still wanna try it. It's the Aura Collagen Tea and Berry Ginger. This has 15 grams of protein in it. 70 calories. That's insane. People said they just didn't love the texture of it. And I got another spray hand sanitizer. I like keeping these in my car for after the gym. I'm almost out of mine. And then, this isn't the last one. But this, I hate, 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 hate the body butter. It's just sits on my skin, but they saw, I saw that they have a body wash this year and a candle, body cream, and a body scrub. Oh, the body wash smells so good. So I'm excited to try that out. I think it was like five bucks. Like I said, I'm back on my snack platter things and I love making these little turkey Hawaiian roll sandwiches with some cheese, which I already have. Um, I haven't gotten these forever. Peanut butter pretzels, so good. Dill pickle season is back on us. I hope that they really, or bring back the dill pickle falafel. If you see them in your store, get them, they're so good. But the pickle tips, I've never tried these. These are the Papa Dums. Lentils and chickpea crisps. I thought that sounded good. I got some chomps turkey, my favorite. I got some mango. Arlo loves this. It's just the mango. And then, last but not least, a full-on bag of my seaweed. So that is it. Everything that I got. So, like I said, I'm gonna do a lot of grilling halibut, 
for a meal with some veggies and rice. I'm gonna do chicken thighs, veggies, sweet potatoes. I may do tacos one night and then what else? I don't know, I have other meats and stuff in the fridge as well. So that's kind of what I've been just sticking to, super basic, super fresh, lots of veggies, getting out in the grill, and um, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this little Trader Joe's slash Whole Foods haul. Um, keeping lunches fresh and simple with little sandwiches, veggie plater, platter, some fruit, and um, I think it's gonna be good. So yeah, that's it. I love you guys, and I'll see you in my next video tomorrow. I'm gonna have a vlog up tomorrow. Silly me, I really wanted to try this drink. This is the only thing I really wanna taste test and let you know what I think about it. it smells good, kind of. I don't think it's thick. Mmm. Tastes like a kombucha to me. I like it. I'm a fan. I would get this again. Okay, now I'm good. Bye!